that, yeah, we came from Java, worked with Smalltalk, ended up writing a, a high high performance JavaScript implementation for for Google uh, at this point in time. Uh, and uh, at some point, actually, we started like, toying with a few other technologies inside. I stayed on the on the V8 team for a little bit longer than Lars, and I I took uh, sort of my first uh, sort of lead role on the on the project there, writing the uh, the first uh, sort of adaptive uh, um, optimizing compiler for JavaScript, uh, Crankshaft it was called in 2010, and uh, and we actually put something um, sort of an old technique into this in this context, which is something that I don't think a lot of people realize how how cool it is, and it, it has a weird name that most people don't think of as as sort of the, one of the the best ideas in uh, in in making your programs run fast, and it's called de-optimization. And people think that, that must be a bad thing. Like, why is de-optimization a good thing? And it really, it really is um, the support you can put into a system that allows you to back out of optimizations that turned out to be too optimistic or too aggressive. Uh, so, with a de-optimization engine in your system, you have the opportunity to to make bets. Say, I think the code is going to. Uh, mostly follow this path or do this thing more often than this thing if it turns out i'm wrong we will de-optimize go back to a more uh, a slower and more primitive form but we have this translation engine that allows it to to get out of jail uh, get out of the, the two optimistic optimizations but just having that part this 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 way of getting out allows you to be much much more aggressive to say i don't really know but i think that that people are going to call this method only on strings not on anything else so I'll optimize as if that's the case, and then I'll catch if they ever do something that's outside of what I optimized for, and then I'll just de-optimize. And then we put that into Crankshaft, like this V8 um, JIT on steroids uh, from, the, from the get-go, because we thought, thought we need something that, that enables that next like factor of three performance increase, and that just worked really, really well. And I think today, most of the engines out there in, in the JavaScript space have this kind of thing built in. But that's kind of, kind of things I like to take something that sort of invented in a sort of more academic setting, bring it into a, a practical context, in this case, a dynamically typed language like JavaScript, and uh, get it out there and that get others to get inspired and start building on some of the same ideas. Uh, so yeah, de-optimization has always been one of my favorite ways to make your code run faster, which sounds like counterintuitive, I guess. <laughs>